Say I've been grinding for a long time. Went through trials and tribulations, shit. I still kept a strong mind. I put it all on the line. I'm from the school of the hard knocks. Think so much that my brain hurt and see stars in the ceiling. Yeah, yeah. I made something out of nothing. Had to run on my money. Had to run on my money. What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to the motherfucking channel. So you knew I finally got the boosted F-150 bag. I'm about to install um, um, I am about to install the train horn, guys. So I don't know how long this video is going to take. Now, it might be a two-part, one-part. It all depends on how how well I do. So I got one of the brackets here. Um, so what we're gonna do first is mount. Oh, you know what? I wanted to spray paint this crap because I didn't want it to rust. Is it worth spray painting? What y'all think? Y'all yeah, think it's worth spray painting? I could just do a soft coat, huh? I don't have to do nothing heavy. Just a soft coat, guys. All right, so this is the side that y'all actually won't see, but looks all right. It don't have to be perfect. And the only reason why I'm spray painting this, guys, because I don't, this don't dry fast. I don't want it to rust, so that'd be a huge disappointment if I put this up there and it rust. So I didn't do a heavy spray paint or nothing. I just spray paint it just a little bit so now I know it's, it ain't dry but still gonna flip it over because I really don't care as long as it got something on there just wipe it down a little bit and that is it Finished product, uh, project, finished product, right here, guys. That is really it. Uh, spray paint, and like I said, I only did this because I don't want it to rust. I don't really care how it looks underneath or anything, um, but it will look good uh, with this black um, stuff, so. I'm gonna get ready to actually install the torn onto this one and then install it underneath my truck. So stay tuned. All right, so all these holes are a quarter of an inch. Um, I don't remember <laughs> what, what this size is right here, but it's have to be, I think it's like 5 16 or something. So this is the bracket that the actual tray holder is going to go on. So just like that. Just like that. the 
Wash is on. Wash is on. Wash is on. I think I have some vibration in these. I didn't even have to buy no freaking bolts. It comes with bolts already. Uh, which I'm going to use because they're black. These black bows don't come with nuts. How smart is that? So I have to use these because the other ones don't come with freaking nuts. Like that's stupid as hell. There you go guys, so all I have to do now is tighten it down so it won't move. Nice and tight. Now it's time to actually drill this into the actual truck. All right guys, so the sun is like beaming in my face and I'm not 100% sure if this is going to work because this thing is heavy Shoot. and I don't know if my drill is actually strong enough uh, to hold this crap up but we shall see Okay, so I gotta start doing time lapses because my memory be gone quick. So I freaking got it up right here. So I pre, I don't know if y'all seen it, but uh, I pre drilled the holes for that. So this is sturdy, but I over tightened this one. So now I'm forced to put one here and probably the other one right here. So I'm about to drill those in right now and the horn is actually attached and it's sturdy dude it's like really sturdy but i don't don't over tighten them guys don't over tighten it but i'll be right back once i get these two in and we should be good just to focus a matter of second so that's the one i broke for tightening too tight but i got four on total my goal was to put six but i'm fine with this guys uh no space for the exhaust and everything so I want to proceed on putting on the compressor and then I don't know if I'm gonna wire everything today uh, that's why I was saying it might be a part two video but I want to proceed to put the compressor on I mean the uh, bracket for the compressor 
pre-drill those holes and then get the actual compressor and all that up here. I want to see if it's sturdy uh, because I was thinking about having my friend do a tack weld right there. Tack weld right here. But it don't seem like I have to do it because it seems like it's on pretty strong. So we'll see. See y'all when I actually put the compressor on. But y'all want to see how it looks up here so far. That's how the train horn looks. I hope y'all see my crack. My crack is not whack. All right, guys. So the wires are free. Whew. Uh, just give y'all a word of advice: wear glasses or safety glasses when you do it. Is because it is hot metal coming down. But I just close my eyes and turn my head, so <laughs> it's a lot of little hot metal. So I'm about to put the uh, compressor actually on this bracket lift it up and then put this stuff on man this stuff got me out of breath <clears throat> oh so they had these little rubber things should i add the rubber things what y'all think i know it's for a vibration I don't know. Should I add them? Alright guys, so currently I almost have the compressor fast and tight. So all I do is get this uh hand wrench right here. Look, 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 look. Here. Like that. So look, 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 look at this. Somebody come look at this. Look at this. And then I take you know, tightening by the and That's really it. And that's all you really have to do to tighten it up. And as you can see, it's floating. Um, so, and then the drill holes go right here. Remember, it's already pre drilled. So, honestly, all I have to do is hold it up, uh, do one right here, one right there to do the rest. It hold it by itself. And then tomorrow, well, I'm going to do this part first so you can see how it looks underneath. And then tomorrow I'm going to do the wiring and all that good stuff. So I'll show y'all how it looks once I put it in the boosted F-150. I'm going to tell y'all guys right now, this crap is going to be freaking heavy. It's going to be heavy. But I got to put my big boy pants on and man up. Man up, boy. Man up. Let's go. Oops. What up, my man up, driver stuff. Man up. Oh my god. It's crazy. Heavy. Heavy. Heavy, heavy, heavy. Heavy. Okay, baby. You gotta give me a second just now. Hey, busy. He needs some milk. Heavy.
look how that one self tap screw does it though. Don't let this crap to break on me. Giselle, go in the house. So you got little three year olds freaking, four year olds freaking bother you about a damn bug. So to go to the house, you bother me while I'm trying to do this crap, crap heavy. <laughs> Whew. Yeah. No, I got it now. Right. I did the hard part. She can stay out here now. She can. What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? Okay. Oh, no. I got to loosen it up. But she over here talking about bugs and stuff. I'm like, just leave me alone. Oh, look, you got oh, I didn't like the other one. I told him to replace it. Let me take this tripod off. All right, guys, so look at that green grass. Bless you! <laughs> Uh, so I officially put the train horn on, guys. It's officially on. So it's officially on, guys. As you can see. So I think what I'm going to do here, like I told y'all in a previous video, I want to run a hole straight to here. And this is where I can like air up tires and stuff and just take that keyhole off since I don't have a spare tire no more. So this is the actual horns right here. It's all nice and sturdy. See the whole truck is shaking. And this is the compressor. Um, and then I just got to do the wiring. I'm going to do that tomorrow because it's getting late right now. Um, so that's going to look freaking awesome. So this is why I spray painted everything black and kept it uh, black as well. So I'm going to drive around real fast to make sure nothing gets loose and everything is secure. Yeah, but it seems like it's secure. So tapping screws hold on strong as hell too. Um, so I just got to do negative, which I can run literally right here i can do that right now with a self tapping screw honestly uh yeah i can do that i probably want to wire somewhere else um or i could even probably put it under one of these screws but yeah um run the wire negative here and then positive i'm gonna have it go to actually fuse so where the addition is at um, and then call it a day on that but yeah I'll see y'all guys tomorrow when I do the wiring peace